Hi, uh, today we're going to show you the importance of a terminating resistor for communication wire uh, RS485, RS232 or other communications between instruments. Normally we use coax cable for such uh, communication but in industrial environments it's also possible to do it with a uh, normal cable like here. This is a 3 uh, three times 1.5 square millimeter of uh, electrical cable with a velocity factor of 66 percent so now I'm going to show you the importance of these uh, cables to terminate them right and on the right resistance we hooked up the cable to the signal generator and we set the signal to a 100 Hz uh, square wave. As you see, the square wave is almost perfect, no problem. So, what happens if we speed up the frequency? Now we go to 1 kHz. And you see a small glitches. Here, there. Here it's impossible to see, but there you see also one glitch. We're going to speed it up a little more. 10k. And now you see it a lot better. Now we're going to see the impact of the reflections here and there. We're going to speed it up until 50k. and we're gonna magnify it and now you see exactly what is happening you see the propagation delay of the cable the overshoot comes from the reflections again the propagation delay and the undershoot what happens if we speed up the frequency a little more as you're gonna see this the propagation delay depending on the length of the cable is always the same but the signal is come changing 150k I'm gonna magnify it a little bit you see the original square wave is almost gone Now, a little bit triggering. So what you see now is that the original square wave is almost killed by the reflections. If we put it in the sine wave, we're going to see what's happened. This is a sine wave. And we have a very small signal. If we... That's the sine wave, sorry about that. We go to the frequency and we pull it down. And as you see, if we go down with the frequency, the amplitude is going to change. That's because of the reflections. So at the point of about 460 kilohertz, we have lots of trouble. The signal is almost gone. That's depending on the reflections you have. Now we're going again to the square wave. Go to 460 kilohertz. And you see the signal is almost dead. That's not good. So what we can do is put on a termination resistor. We put on a, a termination resistor of 100 ohm. So when we look at the scope again, now we're starting again from the hundred original 100 hertz. We see no problems at all. Go to 1k. A little bit problems with my 100k. No problems. 10k. We see 
see no glitches, nothing anymore. We go a little bit further. That's about 50k. And you see no reflections at all. We go to 100k, no reflections. Sorry, it was 1 megahertz, and we have no reflections at all at 100 megahertz. So you see, with the right resistance, you don't have problems. Thank you for watching.